You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update, and we will start seeing some relief at the pumps. A gas tax holiday bill passed all the major hurdles and officially goes into effect this afternoon. The pause on the state gas tax will save you about 36 cents per gallon. The state gas tax suspension will be in place for 30 days. Governor Larry Hogan said he wanted it to be longer than that, but that's where they landed with the compromise agreement. Lawmakers did explain if there's enough budget, they could extend that suspension. Four children were hurt in a fire in East Baltimore. According to the Firefighters Union Local 734, four kids between the ages of 5 and 13 were rescued from that burning home on East Monument Street, just a mile east from Johns Hopkins Hospital. The union says the kids were rushed to Johns Hopkins Children's Center and are in serious condition. That fire started around 5 o'clock this morning. No word yet on a cause. And it's been four months since a 13 year old girl was murdered in West Baltimore and there are still no arrests in her case. Family and friends of Malia Turner plan to hold a rally in her memory at five o'clock tonight at the Lillian Jones Rec Center. Turner was shot near that rec center back in November on Pressman and North Stricker Streets. There's now a $21,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday, everyone. On this Friday, we are tracking lots of sunshine, dry conditions, warm conditions out there. But that will change as we head into your tomorrow as we do have some isolated showers and thunderstorms that we will be tracking. Today, though, those highs going to the mid 70s before it's all said and done. And then those clouds will begin to push in as we go through the overnight time frame. Tomorrow morning, we could see a few spotty showers, but by the afternoon, with that front moving through, again, some of those storms could be on the feisty side. So damaging gusty wind and hail will be the primary threat. Cannot rule out, though, an isolated tornado if that does come to fruition. Make sure you also stay weather aware on your Saturday and then spring is ushered in on your Sunday. It will be breezy. It will be cooler and then sunshine returns as we go into your Monday and those temperatures close to 70 degrees. Megan Knight. I like the looks of that. Thank you, Lynette. Stay with us at WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day and for your news and weather while you're on the go. You can download the WMAR2news app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.